Introducing the all natural burger. The Oh, pickle. We got free in and out today. Mm. Um, this was something that we got from him. <laughs> a customer gave him free gift cards to in and out today and we kind of wanted to do a free in and out mukbang today um, as kind of like a gesture because of our Ariana concert yesterday. Mm. Um, basically, we kind of feel jipped out of something we felt like we should have gotten for free yesterday mm -hmm. um, and we didn't. But we're going to get into that in a little bit. Mm -hmm. So we went to the concert yesterday and it was amazing, right? Super good. But we're totally going to go into mm -hmm. that in detail. But I want to take a bite. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I it's like so nine good something too. already and we I are know. so hungry we went and tried to get food we were gonna get free chick-fil-a too but this lady there was being such a dumb earlier and we have that whole story for you too so lady yeah that yeah. girl <laughs> not even the a lady, lady. <laughs> right she, <sighs> she looked like she was like 12. <laughs> she made me hangry it was so bad Extra are you hangry. done i know can i oh, eat? I'm ready. Okay, ready? Okay, ready? What yeah. do I want first? I really have two forks. Give me a fork. Okay. <laughs> I gave you. Okay, I think that's all I have. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. That was so much easier. Okay. <laughs> Wait, a white one or a black one? Mm, a black one. I thought you said you like in and out forks better. It looked cool because it was in a package like at school. Oh. Yeah, that's what I said. The packaging looks cool. Yeah. Oh, I got a haircut! You like it? He cut it for me. Did he really? <laughs> well, I tied it and I told him where to cut it. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> she had to tell me like four times. I was like, like just like, no, do I'm it. Yeah. It. <laughs> and I was like, cut it. No. Mm -hmm. Just cut it. Like, no, I'm, I'm not getting that fresh. Yeah. <laughs> and he finally did it. And it's... Like, just do it. I'm going to get Nathan to do it. <laughs> like, if you're going to get one of us to do it, I guess I'll do it. <laughs> okay, are we ready? Yes, I'm starting. Okay. Let's go. I want chili Dig cheese. Mmm. Wait. Okay. Cheers! Cheers! Oh, get all that cheese Why are those. you always in my face when we do oh, this? Oh, yeah. Lower. Mmm. 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 That's really good. Okay. I feel like we haven't had chili fries in so long. I know. I want the hat. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's my favorite place to get it. Because the portions are so big. Mm-hmm. I forgot to ask for the fries extra crispy. Oh, yeah. So they still be, yeah, there. crispy now. What about these fries? Oh no. The fries you think is better. With the grilled onions? Mm. They're both good. Can I choose? Grilled onions are always good. Mm. Their fries are just always good. In case anyone is wondering, this is a 4x4. Four four. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, we, we didn't even tell them what we got. No. So, <laughs> we just dig, dug in. I was hungry. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's a 4x4, four four, animal style. This is a double double. This is how I like to get my burgers. There's cheese and grilled onions only. There's no other stuff. There's no pickles, there's no tomato, there's no lettuce, there's no tomato. Did I say that right? <laughs> that's how much you don't like tomatoes. <laughs> yeah, so it's only the bread, the cheese, the grilled onions, the cheese, the meat, and the bread. A lot of that extra fluff. Yeah. Just the good stuff. And then here we have a patty melt. Mm. <laughs> That's not from In and Out. Out there, secret menu. <laughs> oh yeah, chili cheese fries. This is from Flames, and the chili cheese fries is from Flames too. We had to um, improvise because Chick Fil A was being a dumb earlier. Mm -hmm. We had basically promotional cards from Chick Fil A because they um, they did us wrong a couple months ago, and so the manager sent us promotional cards, right? And so we went to go try to redeem it. And this lady, like this girl was being so dumb earlier, she wouldn't redeem it for us. And it's like, don't they have a policy where they always have to say yes or you know the customer, you know? Like they always try to com accommodate you in some way. But no, this girl was like, she went in and she was like, okay, let me get my supervisor. And she goes and gets her supervisor, right? And her supervisor comes out. And what the heck? She's like coaching her supervisor on what to say. Like the supervisor wasn't even saying what he had to say. It was, she was saying, no, like tell them we have these cards already. Like she can't use them here. We have them too. Look, we have them too. And then I was like, look, I'm showing her the email and I'm like, look, this is what happened. It says we can use it in any store, you know? And I'm showing her, she goes, You're, that's expired. And she's telling me that my email is expired. How can an email be expired? I'm sorry, but emails do not expire, first of all, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, she goes, that's from last year. That email's expired. And I'm like, dude, 
That email was from October of 2018. And then she goes, it's March now. Lady, we are in May. Not March, but she goes, it's March now. So she was like all, all over the place. Hi, can I get a, a number five with a boneless, skinless chicken that is slightly seasoned? Aha! No, security! And she was not good at customer service. She was trying to teach her supervisor what to do. The supervisor was like really young too. And they just did not know what to do and it was horrible. They didn't know how to handle that situation. Yeah, they really didn't know how to handle any mm -hmm. kind of situation. So we took our cards and we left. Okay, I want to dive into this. This is price. the first time I've ever seen a 4x4. Four four. <laughs> Have you guys ever seen one before? You didn't finish. These two are animal fries. Oh yeah. But that one has no spread. Because I don't like spread. <laughs> That's it. End of the subject. Mm -mm. What? I'm milkshake. Oh, yeah. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. And the wreck is better than yours. I teach you, but I have to teach you. charge. I love the Riverdale version of that. Do you remember that? Oh, yeah. yeah that one's so go, good. Go? <laughs> I don't know. They just the like show? jazz it up a little yeah. bit. Mm. With the, the Pussycat dolls or whatever mm. they are. And then Cheryl. So good. <sighs> Josie, I think. I like milkshake. Mm. Okay. The I water bottle is where? I want mine. Yeah. Yeah. I like this part. It's pretty cool. You never mm. noticed that. All the onion. Mm. Do you guys remember the commercial where they said the cheese paper is the best part? No. It's true. Yeah. What? What? I think was Can it McDonald's or was it? There's lettuce on that. They tricked us. Wow. Take it back. Make me a new burger. I don't want that. Oh no. A little bit. And a little bit. No, oh, that's so juicy. Give Nathan a bite. Okay. Oh, it's so big attack. How do I even write this? You know what that looks like? We need to do a grill them all one. Mm -hmm. That's what mm -hmm. that looks like. I want to try one bite. Well, why is it dripping already? Oh, no. Not a mirror. Oh, it's a hooky jaw crap. <laughs> Stop listening to my jaw talk. Oh. Stop it! It's so loud. I really hope the mic picked that up. Alright. Uh, that was like four it. times in a row. Well, amplify it. <laughs> Introducing the all natural burger. The oh, pickle? Sorry. Shama mm. Queen. I'm taking paper. Hey, how come the burger's down here? Oh, <laughs> and the paper's up here. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Mmm. I was watching. I forgot if it was like tasty or insider, but they said the, the right way to eat a burger is upside down so nothing falls out. Uh, I do. You weren't doing that earlier. Yeah. Tasty. He lied. How come? Because. I know. Like all the extra space will just fill up. Oh. It keeps happening. Your lipstick was all over that, man. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> That's also the correct way how to eat a toast. Toast? Toast? Mm -hmm. what mean? Upside down? So you t eat. How do you know what side is upside down? The butter side? Like what toast? Like anything toasted. Mm -hmm. you, you know, you put butter or. But then the hard part will, will bite my mouth upstairs. Both sides are going to be the same. But the butter side is softer. Only because the butter want, made it softer. Exactly. I don't, want, I don't no. want the butter dripping all over me. No. It's, so if I put it up, it's on your tongue though. The butter, uh, yeah. So if I put it up though, the butter side will be the soft side, and it will be up here. So if I bite down, it won't hurt my. my no, I'd rather not hurt my top. Yeah, I don't want to hurt the top. And of I have my, my mouth. tongue softening the bottom. I'm just saying. But when I bite, all the flavor goes in my mouth, right? <laughs> and I don't, I don't want no butter on my mouth and <laughs> my on my tongue. <laughs> but you have that when you eat popcorn. Popcorn. Yeah. That's true. Okay, well, look, it's still pink. Mm. It's raw. Bring it back. Mm, remember, like, I was reading some of the reviews for, um, 
Why did you finish that so fast? You're supposed to eat some of the other stuff. I was reading some of the reviews thinking about a steak sandwich. <laughs> now, like, she had gone there five I'm times already. And five different times, right? And she's like, it's my fifth time coming here ordering a steak sandwich. Well done! And you still can't get it well done. It's still bloody and red and unsanitary. And I'm just like, <laughs> why go there? Why? <laughs> why are you still going there a fifth time if the first four times you didn't make it right? <laughs> Maybe they'll do it right this time. I'll go again. <laughs> no, I'm so angry. Which burger's upside down? I don't know. I was eating the burger upside down. Yeah. You get more flavor that they way. They said to oh, eat upside down. I'm eating just upside down too. Mm -hmm. oh. I'm chopped to fry. You wish so. Yeah, I guess you have to down it. Party fell. <laughs> no. <laughs> you know, I thought there'd be more spread in that, but maybe because there's like so many layers and stuff, and they had to squeeze it down. It, it kind of tastes like that, because all the stuff is gone already. But like I feel then. like more. It tastes like that, but more meat. Yeah, well, it's just more meat, so it's kind of good. <laughs> so there's like no lettuce left in it. <laughs> and there's no tomato left in it. So it's basically just that, but a little juice here. Very, very I good. I like it. Oh, oh, that was my first time having a foot pepper. Me too! That was telling her earlier. I was like, what the heck? This is my first time seeing it in person. Mm -hmm. Like, I've never ever seen that. Cue the I think he did a better job than the iceberg. He just killed that song. It actually got worse. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> 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 My voice is so fried from last night. <laughs> right. Speaking of last night. Oh. Mm, good segue. <laughs> Mom, right? <clears throat> are we in nerd pants yet? We are in our segways. Wow. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> that one is bad. That one is good. <laughs> rewind, rewind. I'm <laughs> Can I open the Coke? Oh, yeah. I kind of want that. <laughs> what is that one? Lemon up. Lemon up? Ice tea. Yeah. Okay. So yesterday was pretty awesome, right? It was pretty epic. <laughs> we, were trying, we were hoping to have an epic of a story as Taylor Swift for you guys, right? And I feel like we almost, almost. do. Mm -hmm. almost. Right? Almost there. We got there. We wanted to get there super early to try to, you know, get good seats, you know, um, better seats than what we had because we were basically in the nosebleeds, right? Mm. And then I didn't know this either, but... When Nathan got us tickets, he actually got us tickets in two different sections because he couldn't get them in the same section. So we were in like 308. The tickets hold out so fast, dude. 308 and 305, right? Mm -hmm. So he got us two in 308 and one in 305. So we got there at what, like 745 ish? Mm -hmm. The concert starts at 8, but there were two people like opening for her. So she doesn't actually go on until what, like 930. Mm -hmm. So from 745 to 9. We hit to like 9.15, mm -hmm. we're basically walking around trying to find ourselves better tickets. We went to guest services, we went, we walked around to the box office, we were asking supervisors, we were asking everybody at anybody the Staples Center. And, and yeah, anybody that we could ask. Guest services was trying to send us to the box office, the box office was trying to send us to, you know, supervisors, supervisors were telling us that they don't actually do upgrades. Everybody and their mom was basically telling us that the Staples Center does not do upgrades. Has and that never the, done yeah, upgrades has never ever done upgrades in their life. Mm -hmm. And that the only way to get better seats is to buy a whole new set of tickets, right? So we were looking, you know, we looked everywhere and at the like last minute around like I wanna say like eight forty five, right? We had basically been doing it for an hour. We were about to give up. And James goes, Come on you guys, I know you aren't gonna give up mm -hmm. that fast. You know, like I know you guys to not give up. And so he convinces us not to give up. So we go one last time to get services. We walk to get services and we tell her, Hi, a supervisor sent us here to see if we, uh, you know, if you could give us our upgraded tickets or if you could at least put our seats together. And but I think, like Nathan says, he was telling me throughout the night, he was like, I think they're trained to automatically hear upgrade and turn you away. And so from then on, we decided that we weren't going to say upgrades anymore and we were going to say, can you put us together? And so she sends us upstairs to another guest services and she was like, you know what, go upstairs to guest services. 
to the specific guest service center across from aisle six. And so, you know, we were thinking, okay, there's a little bit of hope there. So we go upstairs to, you know, guest services across from aisle six. And why you took my fork and your fork? <laughs> so we go upstairs to guest services, you know, from across from aisle six. And we're talking to the lady there. And, you know, she's looking at our tickets. And we ask her, can you, you know, can we put our seats together? We really want to sit together for this concert. She looks at her tickets and Nathan's kind of peeking over. And she goes, I mean, I don't have another one here to put you guys together, but I have one in 309, which is closer. But I don't know if I can sit you guys together. But Nathan's looking at it and he goes, there's one in 308. Mm -hmm. Why can't you see this in 308? But I'm not saying it to her, I'm saying it yeah, to she's her. She's saying yeah. it to me. Mm -hmm. And she's kind of acting a little bit shady, you know? She's walking over, talking to her supervisor over here. She's walking back to us, and we don't know what's going on. And then we're like, he keeps peeking over to look at the actual tickets ticket, that yeah. she has because it looks like there's like a lot there, there's you know, lined up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But she keeps saying that she doesn't have extra tickets, like she doesn't have anything else. But she, you know, we're looking, and honestly, all we want at this point, since we can't get upgraded tickets, is just to sit together. You know, that's the only thing we're trying to get at this point. And then I don't know what she comes back to us and she's like, you know what? I'm sorry, there's nothing I can do for you. Like she won't even give us a 309 at this point. Mm -hmm. And she's like, you can come back later. And if I, if anybody else in a pair of three comes in to trade me tickets, I'll give you those tickets. But maybe you can talk to my supervisor here and see what he can do for you. And we're like, okay, I guess so. And so we go talk to this supervisor and he was like, you know, he looks at us and goes, you know, she kind of told me what happened and I'm really sorry. But when this happens, you know, we sell out quick. And so the news he's giving us, at first we're thinking like, oh shoot, you know, like that sucks. We're, we're not going to get to sit together, you know, and this is like the worst news we could possibly hear. And then he goes, but I think my supervisor outside might be able to help you out. So we're getting pretty excited at this point and we walk outside and his supervisor walks out. Like, you know, he, we basically we see a supervisor who had already walked outside and he was texting somebody on the phone. And we walk out there and he looks at us and we're like, hi, somebody just sent us out here to talk to you. And it was kind of like weird already that, you know, he's somebody like they sent us out there outside in the hall to speak privately to him when we could have totally done it like inside, you know, with everybody there. But he looks at us and he goes, hey, so he was telling me that you guys are looking for tickets together, like to sit together. And we're like, yeah, and, you know, I kind of explained to him, you know, my brother bought me tickets for uh, my birthday and we kind of just wanted to sit together if that was possible. And he looks at us and he goes, you know, I might be able to help you out. And he pulls out a fat stack of tickets. It was and huge, like that. Yeah, mm -hmm. huge. And he's looking through them. And honestly, I think he's just pretending to look through them because he, at the end, he just pulls up the first three tickets and goes, I have these three and they're on the main floor. And I can give them to you, but I have to char upcharge you. Like there's an upcharge of $20 per ticket. No, he didn't mention twenty dollars per ticket. He was saying, "Oh, because the concert just started, um, I think I have to charge you about twenty dollars." Yeah. So he has to like uh, price. But, that no, out but then he said discount too. Mm -hmm, yeah. He said, "But I can give you guys a discount because the concert started." Because already. the concert already started, mm -hmm. and we were like, "Wait, what? Like, you're not just you know?" In our heads, we're like, "Wait, you're not just gonna give it to us?" You know, like. Mm -hmm. But then we're also thinking too, like twenty dollars a ticket. That sounds mm -hmm. really good, you know, mm -hmm. especially for main, main floor. floor. Yeah. And he was, and then he goes, oh, how can we pay for it? And Nathan automatically goes, do you take card? And this sketchy dude goes, do you got cash? And we're like, oh, well, I don't think we have enough cash for that. Do you take card? And he goes, well, do you have the cash app? You know, and he, he all he wants is cash. And we're like, well, I mean, we have Venmo, but he wants just the cash app or cash. And already that seems kind of sketchy, you know what I mean? But we want these main floor tickets still, you know, like, it's still kind of an opportunity, but still, like, a part of it seems really sketch at the time, you know? Mm -hmm. And so we're all kind of looking through our apps, and we don't have it. And then James looked at his, and he had it. And so as he was trying to figure it out, me and Nathan are on the side bantering and seeing what we had. And the guy kept, like, coming to us and saying, well, how much cash do you have? And the way he kind of said that made it even more sketch, like he was just going to take anything, you know? Mm -hmm. And so while James was trying to figure out the app, because they couldn't really figure it out on their end, we were trying to see how much cash we could get away with, you know? Mm -hmm. So we were trying to just pull up some change mm. and try to be like, oh, well, we only have like $18. Will you take it? But end up like, you know, I don't know, because it, it seemed like he didn't really know how to use the app either. Like, mm. you know, the person he was texting in the beginning, it felt like that guy was like teaching him how to use the app because he kept saying, mm. oh, my username is 
staples, right? But he kept saying hashtag staples, but it wasn't hashtag. It was a dollar sign, but he kept saying hashtag. You don't know what hashtag is? And he was getting a little irritated too. And he was saying hashtag, it's hashtag. But on the cash app, like I'm pretty sure Staples Center doesn't have well, a why cash. Why would Staples like, have a cash app? Exactly, they don't have a cash app. It. Like they don't. There's no mm. reason for them to use that. Yeah. If anything, they would use a major app like mm. Venmo or PayPal. You know what I mean? PayPal, yeah. But why would they even need that in the first place when they take card, you know, or cash or major credit cards? Mm -hmm. So the fact that he's doing that and using Staples. It was like well, like mm. dollar sign staples, like two, one, three, or something. Yeah. And the the fact that they're even doing that and, and trying to pass it off as a staples thing mm -hmm. was super shady in itself. Like he didn't want to use an actual username because he wanted to seem super legit, as if it was an actual staples thing. Mm -hmm. But we felt like you know, it was just a bunch of like the staples employees making some extra cash because when we when they finally got the cash app to work because the guy was finally like i whoever he was texting was teaching him how to use it he finally got the 60 dollars through we look at these tickets and these are complimentary tickets the value on these tickets is zero dollars so we shouldn't have had to pay for these tickets in the first place. These are the tickets that they basically give you for real, like super great. We've read on like Reddit forums and stuff like that, that guest services gives these tickets away. Like we've had, we've read stories where, you know, like a guest service representative will walk up to somebody and be like, hey, what are your seats? Oh, would you like better seats? Like those are those tickets. The ones that guest relations will basically give, like as promos give to certain like concert goers so that you know like the concert doesn't look empty you know like just so you know it's, it's just a perk you know it's not for them to sell and make money on the side mm -hmm. so for us like seeing that complimentary thing on the ticket and the zero value on the ticket it felt like we got scammed a little bit or you know shaded by staples center employees you know and it was kind of crazy to see that but i mean at the end of the day we like still got to sit on the main floor you know and and, and the fact, too, that, like, he gave us tickets, he didn't know the seat numbers, too, because the seats that he gave us were kind of weird. Like, he gave us um, a seat that was sided off by itself in a two-center. It was just one, and then two here. So, it, like, he still gave us, so then, basically, like, luckily, like, the seats around it were empty, so we just took the three seats that were together, and then um, the seats around it weren't taken. Or else we would have been screwed, too. Like, the whole row. Yeah, yeah, so, but it's because... He probably would, weren't able to like sell, sell the rest of the tickets, others, yeah. yeah. Or if else the fat stack finish house probably the other seats that, that were mm -hmm. next to it that he couldn't sell because mm -hmm. he couldn't scam anyone else. Mm -hmm. But imagine if he were able to sell all those two, mm -hmm. how much money would he have made off of free tickets that he shouldn't like? I don't think he should have been selling those. Mm -hmm. Complimentary tickets; those are free tickets. Right. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. And it's also crazy because. We said this in very reading, but um, they said that Staples Center specifically does not do any upgrades. So why were they charging us an upgrade? Mm -hmm. Those are tickets. Or, those are promo tickets. Mm -hmm. That should have just been given away. All that Staples Center, like behind the secrets, behind the scenes mm -hmm. secrets, yeah. Exposed. Exposed. But that's kind of why we wanted to do. A freebie tonight like we wanted you know something free tonight mm. to kind of just make us feel better about what happened last night like like you know we still kind of we enjoyed the concert still you know mm. still and super, super so, fun. yeah not to say we did it mm -hmm. but just a little bit mm -hmm. kind of made me feel cheated too you know like why did I have to pay $60 for an upgrade that like was should have been free mm -hmm. yeah for promo tickets that say complimentary mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why was that guy shady? Slim shady. If something happens to you like that, like, mm -hmm. would you feel the same as we do? I cheated. I scammed. <laughs> right? No, no, no. Did you feel like that mm -hmm. or no? Like, is it okay that at the same time we feel like yeah, it was cool that we got main floor, but it didn't feel as good as it should have, I guess, right? 
I guess because Taylor Swift was so amazing. Mm-hmm. Nothing could compare. Yeah. And then that just made it especially because that happened. It's never going to compare now, you know? I'm going to that. Unless you there. No. I didn't feel enough. But it's because I saw, I saw this video on Twitter of last night. Um, Scooter Braun, uh, our manager, manager, mm-hmm. um, he was talking to these two girls, and the two girls, um, they were talking to him and saying that they got scanned out of tickets and everything, and they literally was, they went up to the, to the people scanning the tickets, and the, the people scanning said that uh, these tickets are, don't work or anything. And so they were talking to uh, Scooter and like saying like, and telling them the story, and I was like, oh yeah, it's my birthday and everything. And then Scooter was like, um, well, I'm really sorry about that, but like, here's two tickets, two front row tickets. Yeah, that was last night. Wow. wow. Mm-hmm. So crazy. Those two girls told him? Or what? Mm-hmm. The two girls were like, kind of like crying and like telling him that. How did they even get to meet him? Because he was outside, like talking to fans. Mm. Yeah, people, like it was focused on the video, people were like uh, coming up to him and hugging him. Wow, yeah. why weren't we there? <laughs> I know, right? We were walking outside. <laughs> Only at that one part. Inside. Only at that one part when we tried to go to the box office. Mm-hmm. Like we were legit on a mission last night. Kind of worked. Yeah, we walked a lot. Yeah, well, I mean, at least we got it at the end, but still. Maybe, it, I don't, it just felt like it shouldn't have happened like that. Taylor Swift just made us feel more valued, I guess, mm-hmm. right? As, um, as her fans. Mmm, that's because there's no pepper in it. Well, and also because... For I don't know Ariana Grande concerts. Why you didn't put it? You in? have to pay for the meeting greets versus Taylor's concert. The there's their their people they pick choose the people. You, yeah, yeah. It's you feel more special. Yeah. It feels like actual fans get actually meet her versus the people that have money can meet her. Cause I don't know if I would ever pay for that. <laughs> to meet yeah to meet a celebrity for like ten seconds. Right. Take a picture and leave. I feel like that's not worth it. Mm-hmm. Like that was such an amazing experience to be able to meet Taylor Swift like that. Like we were never we we're never gonna forget that. Like the moment that Mama Swift walked up to us and said, Have you ever met Taylor Swift before? You know, like that was such a crazy moment for us. Like that's something that we're never gonna forget, you know? I don't wanna have to pay for an experience like that. If I had to pay for it, I feel like it just wouldn't be as memorable. Mm-hmm. How do you feel about what happened yesterday? Did you like the concert? The concert was fun. He really danced. <laughs> and so he sat down in a couple parts, but like, during his favorite songs, yeah, he actually stood back up. It was kind of cool. Like the next one, the shirt he's wearing. N-A-S-A. Why you touch my foot? You touch <laughs> my foot. <laughs> he's gonna like super battle. Zoom, zoom. Not my face. <laughs> we decided we're going to do a concert thing as a tradition every year. What's next year? For my birthday. Selena Gomez. <gasps> I'm so down. She's getting ready for album. Is she? Mm-hmm. Can we do Adele one year too? Mm. Is she going to do live anymore? Oh, I'm no. totally down for it on Lady Gaga too. Ooh, I want to go see her. Her. Her new album's coming out soon too. Mm-hmm. All the pop music coming back. Who else? Katy Perry, but you don't like her. Who? <laughs> Katy Perry. Oh. Who else? I just feel like she changed so much, Katie and Perry. like, yeah. Who? Katy Perry. Oh. She tries too hard to please everybody when she should just be making music, you know. But. But I feel like that was her for a really, really long time. Until finally, and like reputation, where she was like, I don't really care what you guys think anymore. That's why she hasn't done any interviews in such a long time. So, all those other songs that she wrote, mm-hmm. they weren't for herself? Which ones? I feel like all the songs that she wrote, mm-hmm. like at least she wrote them, you know? Mm-hmm. Where it's Katy Perry, she didn't care, she was just singing them because she was like, I think they'll like this. I think they'll like this, you know? But as far as we're like, you mm-hmm. know, mm-hmm. she wrote them because of an experience. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So, it's different. Same thing yeah. with the other girl that I didn't like at first. What's her name? Kesha. The, the, yeah. 
She was selling the stuff that was Dr. Luke thought mm-hmm. would sell. Yeah, but now, like, all of her stuff now is actually more personal. And, mm-hmm. and yeah, it's so good. That makes more sense, yeah. Because her voice is so amazing. Mm-hmm. You see what I mean, though? Mm-hmm. Like, as long as it has actual meaning to it. <laughs> like, that's like, how I pick my artists mm-hmm. that I like. like yeah, because they're saying Katy Perry's uh, Teenage Dream Era. Mm-hmm. All those songs were written to to be singles. Yeah. Um, so that's why she had like six number one singles on one album. Um, and Who wrote them? Her and Dr. Luke. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and then also, I think, um, Max Martin. Hmm? Max Martin, the guy who writes like a, a whole bunch of like hit songs, like Britney Spears and Backstreet Boys and everything. <laughs> Did you just sprinkle it? I mixed it in. You lie. There's no ketchup on that fork. I didn't even eat pepperoncini as well. I know. I forgot about it until just right now. I opened it. There's pepper though. Mm. Thank you. <gasps> Thank you. Next. Thank you. Next. I was gonna spoil the, the tour, sorry. I don't even know how I would spoil the tour. I was gonna say, um, she pretended to leave the stage. <laughs> Is that a tour? But Is everyone that knows that, like, a lot encore? of people do that. Yeah, yeah. the encore, yeah, everyone encore. knows about that. Mm. Is that really a spoil? But, well, I mean, Taylor Swift didn't do it, that's why I was kind of confused, like, why would she just leave like that? And then, like, her file was like, bye, and then she just left. Oh, that was dumb. <laughs> <laughs> no, Ariana. Encore? No, Ariana. Ariana did that. You she didn't just said bye and then she left, and then the whole stage was quiet for like five minutes. <laughs> <coughs> and then people started leaving. I was like, what the heck, you guys? <coughs> the funny part is, I didn't even hear her say bye. So <laughs> I thought it was just a costume change, yeah. I, I didn't hear. I didn't hear it. Real, right? I didn't even hear it. I thought it was a costume change, mm-hmm. and I was just waiting. Yeah, I was like, we're not, we're not nowhere near the end. Yeah, I didn't even think it was the end. It's only an hour and 15 minutes. Yeah, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. Why was that so short? Concert. Was that short? Mm-hmm. Another fifty? Mm-hmm. <coughs> oh, it's because um she doesn't talk in between her songs. Versus like other artists. They like tell stories about the songs or like <coughs> I just choked on something. <coughs> yeah. Like I remember in Tillis was gorgeous, she would say, Oh like she would like rap and say something and, then she, and after she'd be like, Oh this crowd looks so pretty tonight. No, what's the step above that? And then like everybody would know and then she would like bring the mic out and everybody would be like, Gorgeous! And then she would go into It's not like that's that much talking. <laughs> <coughs> no, she would tell a story first. Yeah. How much of a story? I don't feel like Taylor mm-hmm. talks that much. Yeah, and then even for Love Story, she's like, she told a whole story about Love Story and was like, mm-hmm. I, in high school, I heard about this, the, these two couples. Is Ariana just not a talker or what? Yeah. Is that why she had so much videos? <coughs> yeah, because she's scared. Of her as a so kid? Really kid yeah. And then like, <laughs> it was so loud that you couldn't even understand it. Like I could not uh, understand yeah, anything that was going too. on. I yeah, I couldn't understand her either. In oh, a lot yeah. of her songs, I'm like, dude, what is she saying? And I wish they were like subtitles. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> One, but, she mumbles in them. Yeah. Two, mm-hmm. the volume was way too. She doesn't enunciate as well. Like which song was it? And I was like, <coughs> dude, I don't understand anything that's going the, on. The special guest one is that is that the one? No, no, no. Uh, um. Well, I was telling him too, and then uh-huh. I looked over to you, and I was like, "We don't understand anything that she's saying." Uh-huh. <laughs> and I felt kind of really old mm-hmm. when I said that to him, but I had no mm-hmm. idea what was going on. But I, I heard it's because she has still has like all that PTSD and everything, so she doesn't like um, all that spotlight here. That's why the the stage is really really dark because she doesn't want like to be seen because she's still scared of performing and everything. Mm. Yeah. Mm. and then yesterday it was so sad, so. I was wearing like a really cute um, backpack, right? A secret backpack. And I felt the guy behind me keep touching it, or I don't know if he was like, grabbing it, because I could feel my backpack going like, up and down, right? Like as if someone was trying to like maybe grab the zipper or something. And you know how like when you grab it, it goes up? So then I had James hold my backpack. <laughs> oh, was it really just an excuse so I didn't have to hold it? Oh, smart. <laughs> I mean, as long as I didn't have to hold it. <laughs> 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 yeah, so then I was like, what the heck is going on? So I felt it for a little while, right? But then I thought it was because I was dancing. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what I kept thinking it was. But then when I stopped dancing, I felt it too. And I was like, wait. And then I moved up, right? And then I was I tried to do that so that if you saw anything or if he saw anything, then they would say something, you know? So I tried to keep myself further up than them. But then even then, I still felt to go up. And I'm just like, what the heck? Mm-hmm. So then I kept trying to peek back. And the guy was like as up as me, um, like on his seat. So I was like, oh my gosh. So I just took it off and I gave it to him. Rude. <laughs> and you would think really loud too. You're like, I love you, Ariana. Yeah, I know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Men det er det også. Men det er også mere sådan. Jeg vil synge med det der. Synge med det der. I wasn't singing. Maybe because I don't know the songs well, but Taylor, I was singing a lot. Taylor's songs are just more catchy, I think, right? A lot of people know mm-hmm. her lyrics more. It's a little more catchy. But maybe better written. Better written. <laughs> but I think it's because she writes it for people to sing, right? Mm. Yep. Yeah. All right. I uh, maybe too because Ariana's are too new. Mm. So I didn't know a lot of them. So maybe that was it. Mm-hmm. This is like. 1989 that came out. Yeah, so like October, Taylor's, yeah. And we had like a, a lot of them. Half a year to listen to it. Well, well, from years ago too, weren't they? Yeah. Like Love Story, Love Story. and yeah. Uh, well, from years ago, so mm-hmm. it was a lot easier for for me to be at hers and sing her songs. Oh yeah, and I also feel like you're a new Ari fan versus you were you knew Taylor for a long time, so you knew a lot of her older. But songs. I feel like a lot of people are new mm-hmm. Ari fans because how, mm-hmm. how long has Ariana That's actually true. been? Yeah. Her, right. I think her first song was like 2012 or 2014. 2013. I was so <laughs> close. You. What is that? Oh. iPod. His Zoom. Zoom. Oh, he's watching movies already. Why are you guys so old? His uh, record player. What's older than that over here? Boombox. No, that's. That's our stereo. It was a thing that they walk like this. And they jam down the streets. Oh. It fit. That's the first time. Like a vinyl player. Is that the core record? Record. Or is it record a vinyl? I think that's um, radio. Oh, nice. Good job. Oh, really? Yeah. Really like good. Radio is the oldest thing. Mm-hmm. I learned about this in communications. Shut the front door. Radio is not the oldest thing. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. That's the first one. That Whistling. You're so dumb. <laughs> Whistling. I can't even do it. Okay, well he's watching movies now. You're so told? <gasps> that was my Ariana Grande impression. <clears throat> she didn't even do it. I know. She was supposed to do it in God as a Woman, but she didn't do it. What? Can Whistle she? Tones? Yeah, I saw What's it in other videos. I kind of <laughs> watched them last night or earlier. What? what her God as a Woman performances because I want to see her whistle. What whistle? Her whistle tone. Where it goes ah, in a really, really high like I'm gonna say like E flat seven. Okay, thanks. All right. Well, we are done for tonight. Um, thank you so much for joining us. If you have any suggestions on what we should do next, um, uh, what we should talk about, mm-hmm. if you guys liked our video, remember to subscribe and thumbs up. Um, what do you guys want to add? Comment, comment. Tell us. Oh, yes. Tell us what tell you guys want to like. eat. What us? Yeah. <laughs> what? what yes. Yeah. Comment and tell us mm-hmm. everything you know. Yeah. Give us some constructive <laughs> criticism. 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 Thank you. We will see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Bye bye.